was uh, wondering whether where this uh, journey of curiosity began for me, and I, I really can't say. Um, chasing curiosity, I got out of chiropractic college and uh, told my parents that if I had to do everything the same, like I'm, I'd met chiropractors who would line people up and adjust them all the same as if they were all the same things, if they were a car and an assembly line. And I said, you know, if I if I were going to do that, I would stay on the assembly line. I wouldn't... Um, I would just work at the Chrysler plant in Windsor and make good money and not worry about anything else. And then my brother-in-law pointed out that uh, if you average it out, doctors make about the same as somebody who starts out and doesn't go to all that school. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, maybe that's true. But uh, I was uh, lecturing at the Barcelona Chiropractic College the other day, and, and I said the one thing, as a kinesiologist, if you know what's going on or if you think you know what's going on, you're probably not doing good kinesiology. I mean, if you do a muscle test and you expect a certain result, uh, you'll probably get it. Uh, what did one of my uh, co-doctors used to call operator prejudice? He says you never can take away operator prejudice in a kinesiological event. And while that may be true, uh, when I was working in Houston, uh, Dr. John Bandy uh, has probably taught me more about chiropractic kinesiology than any person on the planet, and business too. I'd, I ran my practice after his model, and he's doing extremely well in Austin, Texas. But uh, one day, I was in the office, and uh, we had a lot of athletes in the office, which you will, you know, people that want peak performance uh, physically. And uh, he was walking in the room, and I said to him, you know, what do you do for a sprained ankle? Because one had just uh, limped in. And he looked at me, and he said, ultrasound and ice, and walked into the room laughing, chuckling, and I got a little peeved, but uh, it took me a few seconds to understand what he was saying. What, you know, all he was saying was, I don't know, I don't know, go in there, test muscles, see what you find, fix what you find, and you'll probably fix the problem. And so it, it uh, this adventure of curiosity has continued. Uh, most chiropractors that I have met are looking for higher states of awareness, higher states of human potential, higher states of uh, peak performance. Uh, and it, that's, it started, I did that for years and years and years. And then uh, within, with my first uh, seminar in this technology, in self-actualization learning technologies, a lot of my life shifted uh, to a much more magnificent state, I must say. Uh, and the, but the curiosity continues. I'm curious about so many things and I don't understand them, and when I find myself trying to explain them, I go out of my way to try to find at least five other explanations. And that's kind of a good exercise. If you think you know what's going on, uh, sit down, you know, oh, you did this because. Come up with five other reasons, and if nothing else, it's entertaining. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com